Welcome to the Freedom Chronicles. Definitely an antisocial type. Only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. Hi, perhaps you recognize me. It's your favorite president. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. We got a loudspeaker here, and when we go into battle, we play music very loud. With a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Freedom Chronicles. I'm your host, Mike Ambassiani. Thank you for joining us. We are, of course, broadcasting from the Brian Chapman State Farm bunker right here in southwest Florida. And like a good neighbor, Brian Chapman State Farm is there for all of the insurance needs that you have for your very own bunker. You can give this office a call at 941-625-9998 or visit the office at 2040 Tamiami Trail in Port Charlotte. With us, we have... Mason Weaver, who we'll get to in just a moment, but back again. And we've heard there's rumors that his ass is great, especially <laughs> when he's swimming. Well, it's Indeed. not a he anymore, folks. No. It's Katanja Lovejoyski, <laughs> 60 year old black woman. Thank you. How are you? Thank you. Ma'am. Well, you know, it's ma'am. In training. In it's training. ma'am. In training. In training. I, I like That's that braid you have on her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and Mason, how are you, sir? How are you doing, Mason? I am never politically correct, but I'm always politically right. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Well said, sir. It's good to have you back. It's been a little while. Yes, it has. Yes. And uh, it's fun. This is perfect timing, actually. I got this sent to me. It wasn't even sent to me by you, Mason. It was sent to me by the uh, Charlotte County Republican Club. They're doing their Freedom Thursday speaker series again. And I was the speaker last month. Last month, it was a lot of fun, and thank you to everyone who came out and supported. It was a lot of fun, and thank you to Mason also came out and got to hang out. But uh, Mason, you are the speaker tomorrow. It's uh, Thursday, April twentieth, over there at All Star Sports Grill in Port Charlotte, seven thirty to nine. Burger, or you got to pay for your own food there. Yeah, they're talking about bringing change. <laughs> yeah. But it's also the uh, Freedom Thursday Speaker Series one-year anniversary. So uh, that'll be nice. Uh, I'll probably come out. And, and I was our first speaker. That's right, yeah. Oh, cool. But now I get to follow, you know, Mike. So. Exactly. So, you know, it's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, Mason, tell us what's been, what's been going on. What have you been up to? What are you trying to do? Who are you trying to reach with your words and wisdom lately? How's your Broward ministry going? It's a... Uh, that's, we're sitting back watching now to see the results of the last gubernatorial election, see where we were more effective or we're not effective. I'm, tr- I'm planning another trip down there in the next couple of weeks just to coordinate and organize. I, I believe that we were very successful in what happened in Miami. I, I really believe that. Yeah. yeah. The, the conversations now are no more uh, aggressive. They're more like inquisitive now. We're getting those questions like, well, I didn't know that. I didn't know this. And so my response is always, you got to stop listening to liars. You really do. Yeah. So we, I feel I feel really great about the model we have formed, and I'm hoping to maybe take that other places now. Good. Great. Good. Good. And you've been doing the uh, Revelation Gospel Ministries. Go to revelationgospelministries.org, and uh, people can see a lot of the uh, writings and, and videos that you're doing. You're, you We've been doing the uh, the services on Sundays, yep. now over at the IHOP, so we get a little breakfast. No, which IHOP? The Murdoch. Murdoch one. Yes. IHOP. Yes. Yes, Port, the only one with Charlotte, Port Charlotte. So have Florida. breakfast with us early in the morning and hear the gospel while you eat. Exactly, it's a good time. And uh, if people can't make it, they can go to your YouTube channel and yeah. uh, check out the videos as well and share them around to uh, all your friends. And yeah, we, we that believe way. So you can in sit bringing... there and enjoy a Rudy Tooty fresh and fruity. Yes, right, absolutely. Exactly. Those and, pancakes uh, are good. The crepes. Yeah, really that was good. my first the job crepes when can... I was a kid. That was my first job working in IHOP. And they stole yeah. the recipe, didn't they? <laughs> no, I was the I was the uh, bus boy, the only bus boy, and the only dishwasher from midnight to seven a.m. Friday night and Saturday night. So I got to deal with all the drunks who ordered half the menu, and then <laughs> and then didn't eat it. Uh, well, yeah, and then, and then threw up, up all the, over the yeah. men's room. But you know what? That's where I also learned that women are just as disgusting. In the bathroom <laughs> as well. I learned that in the navy. Well, she's a guy, so. <laughs> I'm right. not admitting anything. Having to clean the bathroom. Oh. Yes. So, Mason, when was the last time you went to Chicago? The last <laughs> time I went to Chicago was um, 
2020. We're not talking about half hour layovers. I, I yeah, right. I went to Chicago. Uh, it was it was really amazing that the first time and the last time was 35 years apart. Really. And the roads to Chicago from St. Louis is just as raggedy, just as rugged, just as pothole filled. Yeah. It's, it's a constant job. Isn't that Route unions. 66? Good old Route it's, it's 66. Just, it's just it's giving the unions Ohio. money. Yeah. They keep their roads towed up. They keep feeding the unions money so they can give money to politicians election time. Yeah. Well, it's pretty bad when even on Arnold Schwarzenegger's block there, they can't fill. Get to the pothole! Well, Get to the pothole! I want to say in defense of the city, uh, they were saying, and if you look at the pothole, it didn't look like a pothole. It looked like it had it was been more of like cut a there. Yes, it was. And yeah. the city did come back and said that that was some sort of a a, a, a gas line access huh. hole that they yes. that they were using. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, and for some other construction, mm-hmm. and that was supposed to be covered up sometime next month. Uh, <laughs> of course, yes. At some point, sometime. it now, was Arnold, on the of list. Of course, is saying that's just the excuse they're using. <laughs> So we say, get to the pothole. Get to the pothole. Get to the pothole. <laughs> and he filled it. And, of course, he it did. got on TV and yeah. blah, blah, blah. But anyway, but Mason, back to Chicago, the yep. wonderful Chai Town, you know, the windy city where bullets yes. and snowflakes are flying. Uh, as Mike Armstrong said, the only city that as you're entering, you see the sign and they're pulling the numbers off of the population. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, shout out. Shout out to Mike Armstrong. Hey. We love him. <laughs> he calls his Italian friend. He goes hunting, and yeah, his Italian buddy puts the deer in the trunk and then shoots it. Hey, 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 man. hey, hey. <laughs> But uh, Chicago, and we see Mason. You're in front of Walmart today, and and unfortunately, as we mentioned on the bottom of the stack episode last week, which folks, if you're not in the locals community yet, you're not getting those videos. Uh, ben, put that picture up. We have the the locals community. You can join the Freedom Chronicles locals community. And get some exclusive. Posts Exclusive. and content and uh, share it with your friends. It is only uh, five bucks a month and you can get one month you free with promo code Freedom Cow. We're still waiting for our first Kenny in the Corner rant. He's, you know, he's still letting it stew. I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. He's letting well, it stew it, up in there so it, he can just is. let it out. It's yeah. Just, I, I, I think I've, I've got it all planned out now. Yeah. Okay. It's just finding that one particular rant to kick it off. Right. And w- waiting for that vein to just pop yes. out of your forehead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is missing. It's missing. Yes. But as what we discussed a little bit in that video last week in the bottom of the stack was that these Walmarts are closing all over Chicago. Four of them. Uh, it was the Whole Foods as well. Or was that Portland? I forget. That was Portland. That was Portland. And also uh, REI, mm-hmm. which has been, well, it was on Jansen Beach first in 19. 19- 72 yeah so it's been in the portland area for decades right. i mean when i was stationed in alaska i used to order from their catalog all the time sweaters and stuff mm-hmm. it was a great yeah. outfitter yeah same thing looting crime so, so you're saying that crime doesn't induce business growth no, no. it does not. but but Gee, you see no. babylon b <laughs> babylon b had a good one here we'll throw this up walgreens cashier asks if you want to round up to help pay for some of the merchandise stolen this week <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Yes. Yes. But, you know, you might say, folks, how bad truly is the crime and what's happening? Why would I mean, we we see the people that shop at Walmart, Mm -hmm. you know, they're already they ain't shopping at Target. (laughs) Uh, But how bad could it truly be? Well, D.C. Drano posted this video. and We'll play the video in a second. I want to read his caption. He says, now do people understand why Walmart is leaving Chicago? First, the mobs take over. Then the decent people move out to safe states. Then the businesses shut down and move because there's no customers. Then there's no jobs. Then violent crime and drug use increases even more. Then you have another Detroit. Let's roll this clip of a woman literally crying as she's documenting the worst looted Walmart you've ever seen. Let's check Every out. grocery store looks like this. Everything is either on the floor. Look at this. Can't even get no fucking food for my kids, G. Look at this. Came in the store to try to buy something because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a thief. Look at this. In my hood, can't even get no food for my kids. Babies need milk. Can't even get nothing for my kids, bro. I feel like an animal, and black people made me feel like an animal. Y'all did this to us. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the store. 
Look at this. But we, we, we this, this is what we're fighting for. This is honoring George Floyd. People who already couldn't feed their kids, now they really can't feed their kids. Look at this. I am so devastated right now. I am so devastated right now, G. This is not okay. For us to have to live like this, we do stupid shit like this all the time. And we so black proud. We so black and proud that we ain't gonna never be honest and be real about what's really going on. Y'all are so wrong for this. You came in your neighborhood and fucked up your shit. Yeah. Understand and that's... liberalism. Understand liberalism. Liberals want disaster. They want drugs. They want poverty. They want dependency. They will never have a prosperous neighborhood. You got to understand, you're both of these clowns. You're going to have this nonsense. They mm -hmm. will not have prosperity because if you're prosperous, you're going to leave the neighborhood and not vote for the behinds. Yeah. Yeah. And that's her saying it herself. Yeah. And she said the perfect line right there it's black people. Yes. It's her, we've done, as they us. say, her own people making her feel like this. I just wish you stop saying G. G means gangster. I know, yeah. Don't you love you know, that? Yeah. You know, just just you know, success comes mm -hmm. to those who work. And then then they criticize Walmart for daring to close down. Yeah. We yeah. Never, not yeah. one, not two. Did you see four, the press conference? Four yes. Walmarts. It's yeah. amazing. The press conference mm -hmm. they had, it was just it was like it's all Walmart's fault. Yeah. How dare you? We <laughs> you have are, a right to shut down. How dare you to provide a community for us to loot and pillage and vandalize. Yeah. You're abandoning abandoning yeah. the debt that you owe us to, to give us all this free stuff. Yeah, exactly. That is sad. I hope no. she gets out of there. Yeah, I hope so too. But it just shows the, the people like her that probably can't leave, Yes, you yeah. know, that have to deal I with know. that. I mean, this is, we have dealt with how many hurricanes, Ken? Uh, and the, yes, there's always people that will go into and, and take out a bunch of stuff. They're buying it, first of all. Second of all, yes, there's even panic when these hurricanes come to town because people wait for the last minute. Mm -hmm. And never, ever, ever do these stores that. look like that. No. I mean, that looks like it, didn't the, the scene is set for a, a Walking Dead episode. I don't know. I, I don't recall. I, I'm pretty sure there we didn't have. I was on the air most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't recall one episode, uh, one report of looting. There no. may have been down in Lee County, you know, around yeah. Fort Myers Beach, mm -hmm. that area, possibly because it was, I mean, wiped pretty much off the map. Right. But uh, no, you know, it, we're. Red states don't suffer this. It's blue states. Let it's Democrat-run states. That's the philosophy. They, everything on this. they touch, they destroy. Victim is. What's that, Berkeley? I was a victim. Everybody told me the white man got you down. The white man got the power. White man got they you down, to do this stuff. Mason. If you believe that internally, if you believe that somebody else controls your life, your livelihood, your marriages, your neighborhood, your jobs, if you believe that, then you're justified in doing a couple of things. You're justified in taking drugs to to numb the pain of being a victim. Yeah. You're also justified to steal and to rob because he got you down. You owe him that. He, he deserved this. To say they're robbing and loot. And the slaves on the plantation tore down their own plantation. The slaves on the plantation burned down their slave quarters. And that's what they're doing in the ghetto. They're burning down their own slave quarters. They don't own those homes. They don't own the stores. They think you're supposed to be there serving the master. And that's the problem of being a victim. Democrats love victims because if you're a victim, you depend on them to take care of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then it's just a circle because you will never get out of that. No, you, because at the end of the day, it's it's a mentality. You look for help, not for to escape. You look to stay on the plantation, not to leave the plantation, which was which was the um, title of my first book. It's OK to leave the plantation. Exactly. And that's why, folks, you should go get Mason's book. It's oh, OK gee. to leave the plantation. Make a commercial. Can I do a, a, a commercial for you guys? Sure. I'll yeah. tell you something. Sure. I had a problem after the hurricane with my insurance company. Mm -hmm. It was a crazy problem I could not solve. And I decided to go and look for a show in someplace else. And I went to Brian Chapel, Chapman. Chapman, yes. And in 20 minutes, my problem was solved. I changed my insurance company to them. And it's been nothing but smooth serving. It, it is a great insurance company. Unsolicited for me, I found that process, they, they calmed my anger, my frustration, and they gave me the service I needed and desired, and I was gone in half an hour. Really great. Good. Yeah, put put Chapman's uh, runner up there. <laughs> That's perfect. Look at that yeah. one take Jake over here. I know. Look at that. Gold. Beautiful. That was golden. <laughs> Excellent. Great we company. love it.
<laughs> yeah, he's a great guy, and we're, we've been trying to get him on the show for for well, some time. He's but dealing he's dealing with his own hurricane. I know he's always yeah. busy, and we're hoping. Uh, Brian, I know you're watching these too, so very soon, my friend, we'll have you on. So uh, I think he's scheduled for a date in May, so that'll good. be good. Um, so, Ken, do you have a, you have this story for us, or do I have to read this one? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I, I, uh, it, it's just been happening. Uh, yeah. uh, you've got uh, a lot of uh, uh, Republican congressional uh, uh, members here in the state of Florida, and uh, you've got DeSantis and Trump uh, vying for their endorsements. And uh, our own Greg Stubbe, District 17, has uh, just endorsed uh, uh, President Very Trump. good. We have, we have nice the new, the new picture of, of... He's kind uh, of the quiet warrior. I mean, he'll, yeah. he, you see him on Newsmax. and he, Well, he you know, just got back from being hurt. Oh, yeah. man, Greg he Stubbe, messed man. himself up pretty good yeah. in a fall. For, but he's looking really good, so yeah, I'm good. glad to see his physical therapy is working out mm-hmm. well for him. So he's with uh, DeSantis, or with, uh, uh, with President Trump. Trump. With Trump. And then yesterday. And we have uh, a new picture of DeSantis, too. We don't we don't have to keep using the same old one. Ben can find that uh, the nice cartoon one. We can throw that up there. Oh, that was a cute one. It, it, yeah. It's the one I'm thinking of. It's a cute one. Cute one. Anyway. Uh, uh, Rep. Lance uh, Gooden here, mm-hmm. uh, Republican, uh, uh, was in DeSantis's office uh, yesterday, and upon uh, of Texas leaving, yeah, of Texas, and uh, upon leaving the meeting with uh, Governor DeSantis, uh, endorsed President Trump. Yes, quote today after careful consideration and a positive meeting with Governor Ron DeSantis. Uh, Congressman Lance, I love how they put that in there. Right after a positive meeting with Governor Ron DeSantis, Congressman Lance Gooden of Texas announces his endorsement of President Donald J. Trump. <laughs> and that's the look that DeSantis has. Hey, I thought it was a good meeting. Again, that's not a positive re- uh, uh, outcome of the positive meeting. <laughs> I uh, again, I like Governor DeSantis as mm-hmm. as our governor. Yes, he's, he's done an outstanding job, mm-hmm. and I would like to see him uh, once he tackles the uh, social issues. Maybe he could dive into the economic issues that are starting to plague us here in Florida. Exactly, and uh, he could show that he really does have some chops here. Yes. Uh, I mean, anybody can go after the social issues. It's the shiny thing that everybody uh, on the, in the GOP seems to be focusing on that yes. to take your eyes off of the, uh, uh, the economy, happening. Ukraine, because yeah. they're not they're not. It doesn't seem like they really want to fix the economy that much. And it looks like they're just as in on Ukraine as Biden is. So mm-hmm. uh, they want you to focus. Oh, we'll take care of them social issues for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. And so, you know, the. Uh, I think that uh, personally, I think if DeSantis would have waited until 28 and yeah. he is yet to announce, he would have had the red carpet. He could have tap danced right through the White House front door. Yeah. Uh, but I think that you've got the uh, corporate fascists who pretty much control via their donations, the uh, establishment. Uh, they're afraid of Trump. And they thought by, you know, throwing all their weight behind uh, uh, DeSantis that they could uh, uh, push him to the front. It's not working. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's it's hurting DeSantis. Uh, it's and hurting DeSantis. I think here in Florida too. It, I, I, Definitely, I all these polls him. keep they coming out. Him. Yeah, they rushed mm-hmm. him too soon, and and I think I think it's going to hurt him. Uh, and unless they've got the primaries rigged, Trump is going to sail. Oh yeah with with the win on that now but you the know they are is, probably gonna rig something uh i agree there was a couple of people i read it from and i agree with it wholeheartedly if somebody uh, if uh trump doesn't hurry up and get with katherine engelbrecht over at true the vote yeah and start doing right. their own mulin mm-hmm. it doesn't really matter right well and that's yeah, what i've been saying for months <laughs> it, they, they can again. have this political infighting all you want yeah. but at the end of the day regardless whether it's desantis or trump that Doesn't gets matter. the nomination it will not matter they because will both lose the because Democrats they spent so much time fighting with each other Democrats that they didn't don't care fight about voters they the only Democrats. care about ballots yes. I, I tried to figure out as a political scientist i tried to figure out why is he running now what kind of advice would i be given by that i don't understand what it is 
I, I think they just uh, they hate Trump. They don't want Trump. Trump is and not it's part ego. of the club. Trump, uh, his uh, uh, he Trump is out there telling you how he's going to fix the economy, what his uh, nationalist economic outlook yeah. is mm-hmm. all about. You don't hear that from any of these other guys, no. and you know you don't see uh, uh, DeSantis again focusing on. There was a couple of. Uh, uh, of uh, uh, bills that have gone through that are only going to cost Florida insurance purchasers a lot more money. And, and I, so in that regard, well, economically, he hasn't really done much for us. No, and I think it's ego. Mason, you want to say, well, you know, what is it that is making him run now, which I, he, he is already running. He goes to Iowa, yeah. he goes, he's going yeah, to New York. Yeah. I, I think yeah. it's ego, and I think it's it's those people telling him, you can They're do stroking it. Him. This is your chance to do it. Yeah, you do just, great with Florida. You do great with the hurricane. Yeah. If, if he doesn't, if he wakes at 2008, 28, he's going yeah. to he, be out of the limelight for two years. Exactly. Right. I don't think so. Well, not, he does I don't like, think so. Yeah. He has to keep Florida down. going in the good direction. Well, no, he's out of, he's out of office for two years as governor. So he will be in the limelight, will be in the news. Uh, so maybe he's thinking to keep his, his name noticed, but he'll just write another book. Yeah. Or, or go or, or sit in the cabinet <laughs> Murdoch, with Trump. Murdoch will give him that $2 million dollar advance or whatever the hell yeah. he gave him and he'll write it. Well, if he's still alive and, <laughs> and, uh, He'll write another book, but yeah, uh, yeah. No, the money's but, not the problem. It's, it's, it's being in the limelight, being right. It's it's, about it's that good. It's that initial like people have to be talking about you. But the solution yeah, well, would be in the cabinet with Trump. Mm-hmm. Right, that's true. Mm-hmm. But no, you know, <laughs> which I, having, I said during having, the Kerry Lake having having establishment people in the cabinet is is only going to cause problems because they're not going to help him look right. at his first term look at the estate yeah, look at did mcconnell say. help trump no did the no. senate help trump no did congress help trump barely yeah, well <clears throat> and what did i say right before the midterm i said we knew kerry lake was going to get railroaded with with cheating and i i said then kerry lake is should be the pick for trump's vp he could do worse. I mean, she's already got national recognition now. Yeah. People do seem to like her. And she's when you talk about 28, and when you talk about 28, that's the type of ballot that would be better to going into 28 with somebody like Kerry Lake, who we know is MAGA and can build that support as VP at that time. Yeah, and that's another thing. You know, yeah. when, when you're aligning yourselves with the establishment, uh, it's kind of hard to call yourself MAGA. It's kind of hard yeah. to call yourself America first when you're obviously not. Right. And uh, I don't think I, I've taken so much heat for that position. Because well, and that's the you, bridge. You, don't you dare disparage. You're talking my about governor. Oh, you're talking about gosh, the how dare you, Lovejoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's like, that's the thing. It's like DeSantis is showing his true colors right now. And that's the problem. We can't trust him if he's going to surround himself with these people and make these poor decisions. I'm a little curious about the people around him. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, it's about. already been admitted that it's you know, Carl Rove is advising him. Yeah. And that the with Bush, the whiteboard and that the Bush family has has pushed him. Yeah. Uh, DeSantis himself has said that he was uh, he uh, loves one of George his H. W. Yeah, Bush, his greatest yeah. uh, inspirations to get involved in politics was George H. W. Bush, mm-hmm. Mr. New World Order. Exactly. So, there's going to be a new world order out there. I told you, you got to get I know. I, well, send me that. I don't know why it. you can't you do, do it do yourself. It. Anyway, we're moving on. Children, children, uh, we're alive. We're alive. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of Trump, uh, before we go to the music break, I want to do this because I find this hilarious. Trump is back on Instagram. He was reinstated a while ago. He, but really? he hadn't he hadn't posted what about anything. Me? <laughs> <laughs> and and remember Trump released those NFTs, the digital trading cards a little while ago. Yeah. They yeah, sold out immediately. Yeah. Well, his first post back on Instagram <laughs> is this. And he posted a couple of them. I love this one especially. I should have bought this one. You could get two for 100 bucks. And he posted this and said, as of 10 minutes ago, this was yesterday, my digital trading card sold out in record time. Approximately $4.6 million. A great honor. And I hope everyone is happy, healthy, and wealthy. Congratulations. Look at me me in this. I look better than Elvis did in Tiger Man. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I love it. It's so great. So (laughs) 
<laughs> with that, we're going to go to our music break. But before that, don't forget, folks, this show is sponsored by the Local Meat Club by Tyrone and Marcella Jackson, based out of Columbus, Ohio. And you can go to localmeatclub.com using the affiliate link in the description of this video and use promo code FREEDOMCOW, all caps, so that they know we sent you. Members can choose from fantastic hormone-free aged Angus ground beef, ribeye steaks, breakfast sausage, bacon, and even raw butter and raw milk, which I really hear is that's the way to go. Yeah. Uh, try the family week's worth package that includes breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and also pick up Tyrone's book, Life's Little Handbook, Seven Steps to Finding Success in Life, and explore some of life's most challenging questions. Just 54 pages. Come on, that's an easy read. You're on How many times are you on the toilet all day? Just yeah. pick it up, read a little bit, you'll be fine. You Simple, to straight to the point. You might want to... You know, see a doctor if you're on the toilet a lot. A lot, yeah. Yes. Anyway, join the club and experience because you're eating the bad meat. That's why you got yeah, to get the good meat from there. the local meat club. So you join the club and experience the difference that fresh, life-supporting food makes. Use the link down in the description and use promo code FreedomCowLocalMeatClub.com. I didn't have any gigs last weekend. It's sad. I'm Personal. sitting there. Going like this. Something you said. You need to go out there and start selling yourself. I dude. do. I need Come to. Come on, door to door. So we froze. We froze one. there, yeah. but it's okay. <laughs> so one more, one more time. <laughs> hi, hi, ma'am. Would, Would you like a concert? Would you like a concert? I'll play in your living room. Anyway. That's not going to work. No. You can't say that. <laughs> yeah. No. You want a show, ma'am, in your living hey, room? <laughs> you like the V-neck? Oh, my goodness. So. <laughs> Black Cat Bone. Sorry for a little technical difficulty going into that. 
happens. That, that, that was an oldie, but a goodie. Uh, five years ago, one of the festivals we did down in uh, downtown Fort Myers before Budweiser was a tranny. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to go into our Patriot and Trader of the Week uh, before we get to a couple more stories to end this out. So, Mason, who is your Patriot of the Week? Boy, that's going to be difficult. I had it right. when I came in here, but of course I'm 73 years old now, so it's all gone. You walked in the room and said, "Why am I here?" Lost all of it, and you were early today. I know. Uh, I think it was frozen again, and that's. Uh, I didn't hear you say that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. We'll try to. Oh. Okay. I think my patriot has to be the House Republicans. For their multitude of investigations they're now putting out mm -hmm. on Democrats. Uh, we don't have any justice anymore in this country, so I don't, I don't respect the justice system. I don't, I don't respect when they come only against Republicans, mm -hmm. Clarence Thomas now, and everything else. Now the House Republicans are now opening the doors. It will, nothing will happen, but the evidence will be there. Yeah. Right. At and least the people will know. They'll know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very true. My, uh, my patriot, I'm going to give this to comedian mark normand now he has his bits that you know might not agree with or might not think are funny i think he's he's pretty hey, he's funny. hilarious yeah he, he is quite <laughs> quite funny i like i like 99 percent of his stuff i haven't seen anything um, these even on podcasts yeah like, well know. and this this clip came from a podcast and i saw somebody share it but i think i mean they're making jokes about it but i think he makes a good point and i want to mention the quote that he has so let's roll this clip of uh Mark Normand here on this podcast and what he I hate I hate this argument like Leah Thomas the swimmer person you know yeah, yeah. and everybody's like oh when do you care about women swimming and I'm like when this unprecedented thing that never happened before <laughs> happened and when it's it all becomes over the, the news, number one thing yeah you know it's like oh oh 911 when did you care about skyscrapers <laughs> what, when a plane flew into one you retard I hate that argument when, yeah, did, when do you care about uh uh, bicycling. I'm like, well, Lance Armstrong's on drugs, and he started fucking Cheryl Crow and jizzed on her tits and gave her breast cancer. That's when I started caring about cycling. And that's that's the perfect point. That that question we're gonna have to bleep out a couple things there, but uh, it's that. I hope so. <laughs> but it is hilarious. That's how she got it. And we, <laughs> and we applaud. That's a whole lot about America. Yeah. <laughs> With only one, that's yes, pretty impressive, right? right? <laughs> but it's that comment of "since when did you care?" That's the caption, and I think that'll probably be the uh, the the name of this episode. I want I want that to be in there somewhere. But it's it's the "since when did you care?" mentality. Yeah. Well, it's when things started getting so excuse me fucked up that you're making everybody care. That's what's so important to know. <laughs> you offended me. <laughs> Uh, get over Where's it. Where's the designated uh, safe space? I'm writing down all <laughs> the time the stamps, bear? by the way. <laughs> um, but that's that truly is the sentiment, and he had it right. When when is your since when did you care? Because you're seeing these things pop up everywhere. Well, I'm, it's not only the the uh since when did you care, mm -hmm. it's uh uh it, hey, listen, Whitey, you don't get to tell me, you right. know, it, it, you 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 can't have an opinion. Uh, uh, as a white man in America today, because you're 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 a white man in America. Then let me identify <clears throat> as a white man, <laughs> and to tell you all that liberalism is a disease. Oh yes, it is. There's no mm -hmm. cure; it's terminal. It is a cancer. You have yes. to get rid of them. You have to cut off the arm, cut off the limb, whatever you got to do. Do not let them influence you. Do not yeah. allow them to tell mm -hmm. you about their feelings. Their feelings are not trump intelligence and good choices. Exactly. I'm back yeah. to being a black man again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ken, who is your patriot of the week? Uh, that would be Vivek Ramaswamy. Yes. Uh, he, he, may, he, <laughs> what he did to Don Lemon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was pretty good. Uh, it was just, he was honest. He, he has an opinion. And it's pretty much based on what I just said. Don Lemon uh, uh, was trying to condescend and use his color, use his race card as, uh, uh, as a deflection that uh, telling Vivek Ramaswamy, you can't have a, you can't have an opinion on this. Right. Because you know, you, you weren't, you weren't enslaved. You're not oppressed. And then uh, you're not oppressed. Uh, Ramaswamy went on to, uh, tell that, you know, uh, the, the argument started when, 
uh, Ramaswamy said that uh, with uh, the, uh, the Union fought a war uh, uh, to free the slaves, and then after uh, the war ha- had to enshrine their rights, one of those being the Second Amendment right, which he's right. I, Reverend, you can back me up on this, but uh, uh, that was one of the things that, uh, uh, it, particularly down south during Reconstruction, they didn't want blacks to have guns. And mm-hmm. so, and Don Lemon took exception to that because he's totally against the Second Amendment. And so, women. As well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> he's so, man. Uh, but he just started melting down, apparently, and just told uh, uh, Ramaswamy, you know, you basically, I don't know what your ethnicity is, but you can't be telling me. <laughs> That's really what he said. Right. I don't yeah. know what your ethnicity yeah. is. Like, is this, how dare you? Try? How dare you? And uh, it was, and uh, Vivek held his ground yeah. and uh, he had a really good point. And uh, yeah, he's running for president. I don't think he stands a chance, but uh, he's got a bright future in front mm-hmm. of him in politics if he maintains that uh, attitude. When I ran, when I, when I was restructured for my book, The Democrat Party Hates America, I went back and looked at all the gun control laws back to the 1400s. And they were all originally aimed at black, free and slaved and Indians. Mm -hmm. You couldn't carry a club. You could not legally defend yourself. In Florida, there was a case, I forgot what county it was, where the judge told the sheriff, the reason you were able to go to that black neighborhood and destroy the neighborhood was because two months earlier, you took away the guns. Yeah. The the, the Second Amendment was the keystone for black people living in peace and harmony and able to defend themselves. Most of the gun control laws then and most today are to keep black people unarmed so they stay victims and stay Democrats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And they they want all of them. They want to yes. enslave us all. Yes. Yeah, regardless really is, of color. You're absolutely correct. Democrats are the party of slavery. I don't care what color you are. Yep, exactly. So, folks, you should go buy Mason's other book, The Democrat Party Hates America. Oh, I had thought about that. Yes, good there idea. You go. Yeah, I know. It's a great idea. Well, Where's the website? They're all on yeah. your website. Leave right? the plantation. Leave the plantation. Dot O-R-G. 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 I got it. I got you, Mason. I got Oscar, you. Romeo man. Golf. You, you know, you're my brother, you know. You just, I know. We're I haven't brothers. told your dad yet, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I interviewed uh, Sean Jones, comedian, on my other podcast, The Ambassiani Chronicles, which you can watch on the regular uh Mike Ambassiani YouTube channel. And uh, I was talking to him. I said, what should I, uh, what should I name the episode? And Sean goes, you're one black friend. <laughs> <laughs> and in my mind, I go, no, that's no, Mason. That's, Mason. <laughs> that's my title. I earned that title. I mean, the only reason I'm your friend your mother cooks great desserts for us. Huh? Right, so, I know. Yeah. That's it. Sean was hilarious. Sean is Did really great. Did you stick around? You stayed for the night. I stayed, show, I right? stayed for the late show. Yeah, yeah. it was great. Um, so people should go check out that interview. That was a lot of fun. So Mason, who is your trader of the week? It has to be Dr. Fauci, 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 the Fauci, the, the, yes, because what he did with China mm. inspired, killed millions of people on this planet and no one is holding him accountable for it. And the evidence is now crystal clear of what, what, ha- what happened, what on mm-hmm. and it's, it's time that we stop allowing these guys because they get to a certain level of government and influence. To get away with murder, it's time legally. To st- yes. Legal, they uh, the government essentially it. for uh, Fauci and for the uh, pharmaceutical companies yes. uh, allowed uh, legal mass murder. Yep. Yeah, and they need to be held accountable for it. Definitely. Very good one. Uh, so my my trader, it could go a couple ways, but I'm going to do this because I, I definitely want to play this clip on the, on this show and not the bottom of the stack segment, but. Um, you're seeing not only Mexicans now come across the border illegally, but quite an uptick of Chinese nationals. From, a lot of from uptick. China. Yeah. From China. Chinese people from China. Michael Yon is worth the eight bucks a month on yes. Substack. And you're He's seeing down in his Panama. videos talking about the these Chinese nationals, Chinese, a lot, a lot of them, 1,200. And the rape uh, kits. Yeah, the, yeah, that they're just handing out. Oh, here you go, here you go, here you go. That they're walking across not only the Canadian border coming down south, but going up through Mexico. So Panama. it's, I mean, yeah. Panama, Panama seems to be like the... That's like the uh, station, the, Atlanta, the loading station. The Atlanta yeah. of yes. <laughs> illegal. Right. It's a distribution. Yes. So, so Mike, these are just uh, 
Chinese women and children, correct? No, Chinese no. military, military aged, aged men. men. And so you're going to start said, having. Yon said literally he was surrounded by yes. them. Oh, yeah. At the hotel that he was. They're coming at. in 200 at a time. And they said there were like 1,200 of them surrounding him at one point in this camp uh, to the point where you're going to be having all of these other people from all these other countries coming up to Panama, seeing that the Chinese are getting across quite well. And you're going to see them act like this. Let's roll the clip. The Mickey Rooney. I wrote this. Oh, darling, I am sorry, but I lost my key. But that was two weeks ago. You cannot go on or keep ringing my bell. You disturb me. You must have a key made. But it won't do any good. I just lose them all. Come on, baby. Definitely a Chinaman right there, without a doubt. Oh, yes. <laughs> God love Mickey Rooney. Yeah, love Mickey Rooney. <laughs> but uh, so you're seeing that and why? So really, the traitor goes out to, again, the Biden administration for allowing this to continuously happen again and again and just get worse and worse. And where are they going? We have no idea. I would be, I think it would be uh, very appropriate for whoever's grilling uh, Mayorkas to just if they could just tag team him and just keep grilling him and grilling him until he just strokes out right there in the chair. From right. Him. I'm sure he's, I mean, at least quadruple jabbed. Oh. So. <laughs> he's got no shame. This guy just no. sits there and lies and he's obfuscates and deflects. He's doing his master's bidding. He doesn't care. He yep. has no fear. Just a piece of garbage. 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 Huge piece of garbage. Yep. So, Ken, who is your... Traitor. Traitor, world. that would be uh, Mr. Steve Dettelbach. He is the director of the That's a name. ATF. Oh. Or actually, yeah. And he also, uh, you, a lot of people like our uh, education secretary couldn't tell you the other day what a woman was. Right. Steve Dettelbach. 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 Douchebag. <laughs> Could not define what an assault rifle that he wants to ban, assault weapon mm -hmm. that he wants to ban, right. because Biden wants to ban well, it. He couldn't define what I it is. Couldn't tell this. you what it is. I think I had something for this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm? No, turbo what? cancer. What? Nope, not that no, one. Oh yeah, Garand Thumb tweeted out. I have this in the in the prep Ben. Garand Thumb tweeted out: Gun laws should not be written by a people who don't understand guns and b the very people it was meant to keep in check, the government. The government. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. 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 So uh, yes. The, the guy's an idiot. But again, it it just seems like they deliberately put idiots in place as part of the psychological law oh, yeah. to demoralize this because mm -hmm. we can't figure out how a moron like yeah. this got in that yes. position. Right. Very true. Very good trader. Uh, I want to jump now to Disneyland. You just Last won week. the Super Bowl. You mean Disneyland, right? Disneyland. Disneyland. I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> and Disneyland, California here now, has announced late last week that the California-based theme park will host its first ever. I'm actually kind of surprised that it, it is now. They're just the, getting around to this. It's not the first. Uh, well, I'm sure it was already being partaken mm -hmm. of in, in late at night at these parks anyway. But it's first ever Pride Nights at the park's after oh. dark series so got, oh. in june we have a picture of what this might look like for who, some from some of the disney lovers oh, there, no <laughs> there no no i don't no. like it <laughs> uh, so dubbed disneyland after dark pride night the lgbtqia uh, plus alphabet soup clan come nonsense on, it's, just, it's easy who clucks alphabet who clan? clucks alphabet clan rolls right off the tongue Never mind. Uh, <laughs> quote, the first ever Disneyland after dark Pride Night is coming to Disneyland during Pride Month in June. So it's going to oh, have folks. special themed entertainment, Disney characters, specialty menu items, and more. I've lived in California for over 50 years, mm -hmm. Southern California. And I'm telling you, they had group uh, meetings at Disneyland. You can have yeah. a Christian group there. You can have your, I guess, your redneck group, you whatever it is. Whatever. You could. You used to be. They had a... a, a a group meeting for homosexuals. Everyone came in, and this homosexual got a little ribbon around their arms and their legs. And wear the ribbon. You had to escort. Did you wear I don't want ribbon? to wear the ribbon. Did you wear the ribbon? You had to escort kids to the restroom. They couldn't go by themselves. Right. They, they had their own little special places. This happened dozens of years ago. They've been promoting homosexuality for a thousand years. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. 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 
And you might say, since when did you care? Well, yes. DJ, <laughs> DJ Freedom Rockets had this tweet we can put up. Can you spot the transgendered person <laughs> in this picture? Of course you can't. We're waiting for the picture to come up waiting, here. Ben. Uh, yep, there, there we, we go. go. Of course you can't because transgendered people look just like everyone else. <laughs> It's, it's impossible, impossible to tell the impossible. difference. Since when did you care <laughs> <laughs> about a tranny dunking on those other kids? Stealing, Stealing the yes. college scholarship away from number 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I meant to use this one, this other Babylon B. And, and Mason, I picked this one especially for you. Scholars now believe the Bible verse, they were naked and felt no shame, was written about Walmart. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> No yeah, shame yeah, at all. Man. Yes. Uh, there's just so many moments here of just uh, <laughs> traitors and, and just nonsense. Well, like, the, we'll take this. The typical liberal uh, posted this Lego. And this is sad. This is just sad. 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 So Lego sad. is now pushing the radical trans agenda on our innocent children. Now, you might say, since when did you care about what they're doing with Lego? Well, when they're doing the A to Z's of awesome and they have. B for bisexual, C for is coming out, G is for gay, I is for intersex. What? 0.1% of a 0. 0.000000. You are going to blow 1%. up the Legos. L is for lesbian, and is for non-binary. We are going to blow up the Legos. T is for trans. And all of this, again, after you have it is it is indoctrination is brainwashing yes. but all of this stuff has to go through meetings it has to go through these these yes but who are in this, these meetings these now you have to people. understand who are in these meetings yeah, yeah but there's people 20 that have people been raised woke that is true but there's 20 people sitting around this table at least doing during these type of meetings there's not one person yes. that says oh there was no, a shooting no. in nashville they may believe uh, two it. weeks no. ago maybe we shouldn't post this yeah. yeah they can feel it there's, and believe there's, it. there's 20 in the room they're all woke We're except scared. for one or two those yeah. two aren't saying a freaking right. word yeah because they're too scared exactly. so again folks where is your they line the in the sand check. you know when, when are you going to say when wait for the response of since when did you care like always, we always care about this. It's just they try shoving it down your throat so extreme. Since when did I care? When did I enlist yes. in the Navy? Yeah, right. Well, how much are you willing to lose until Navy. you've lost, until you've had enough? Exactly. How yeah. much are you willing to lose? How many Walmarts have to close? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? How many? Are, what about that lady in Chicago yesterday mm -hmm. that was attacked by a mob yeah. of teens? And, just and Steven Crowder had the good point of saying they played that clip and he said, why is she there? Did she trust CNN when they don't bring up Chicago? You know, did she think that it was safe to walk on the streets because people aren't telling the truth? I think she lived in the building. Well, maybe she did. If, <laughs> if she did, she was a why? Ritzy -ditzy. Get out. Yeah. yeah. Leave. Just leave. Exactly. exactly. It's just, it's horrible to see this. But so. they don't like it over there, though. They won't let me live over there. Just well, then you voted you for it, you're going to yeah. get a good Justice and for hard. Juicy. He agreed yeah. to stop beating me on Thursdays and Fridays. I mean, just that's exactly. the same excuse. If I only give him my lunch money, he'll yes. leave me alone. Absolutely. If if Riley Gaines had only paid the, yes. each uh, attacker the ten dollars each, she would have been let out to save. No, 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 she wouldn't have. They would have no. said five they more dollars, yeah. ten more dollars. Oh, this guy didn't get his, so he can punch you, but I won't because you gave me the ten dollars. It's sick. It's twisted. These are evil people, and you have to stand evil up for evil. what's right. And also take note that only happens in blue states and cities. Yeah. Yeah, because we're armed here in Florida. Let them try and it in Florida. That. Our Florida legislature saw that example nationwide mm -hmm. and legislated constitutional carry effective yes, June 1st. Yes. Thank June 1st or July? July 1st. July 1st. Yes, July 1st. Yes, July 1st. yes. we applaud. Thank you, Governor DeSantis. We like you for doing that. Yes. It's a, you know, State it's Governor, thing. I voted for you for Governor. Exactly. I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, that's why we and we just got done doing that, yes, which right. is why just we want done. him to finish yes. out exactly this four years. Don't run for president as soon as you're done running for governor. And he hasn't and announced win. yet. He still has the opportunity to see the light back off, wash the stench of Karl Rove and the establishment off of him and go for it in 2028. Mm -hmm. You think is he using a Ouija board to talk to George H.W. Bush? Mm. Is that really like no. from Jefferson? <laughs> 
<laughs> but I, I also don't believe he's a Guinness drinker either. He and his wife. That's what he was saying the other day. When you were going well, to the whole Bud oh, Light thing. Speaking of Bud Light, yes, well, uh, Benny Johnson posts this. I love this caption. The most low-T photograph in world history ca- captures a shifty Adam Schiff and Ted, Ted Liu. Lee. Final ounce of testosterone evaporating after posing with their Bud Light bottle. B- uh, bottles there and yeah, they don't hold bo- they, they don't, don't hold even bibles. know how to hold yeah they don't even know how to hold it. with the label sit, out man. and the, yeah same energy exactly you remember focahontas <laughs> oh here i am in my house <laughs> just cracking one a cold one open with my hubby hey hubby you want a beer gay she probably said you want a deer so he can just have some out of his life Did i say that out loud i'm <laughs> It's okay, Mason. You let it all out on this show. Yes, yes. Okay. I just don't understand the the amount of evil and hate they uh-huh. have for life and for prosperity. Yep. And I just don't understand the amount of hate they have for God. It's obvious every day. I want to know when we, the Christians, are going to get enough and start going back to what brings us prosperity as God Almighty. You exactly. got to get right with God and Period. put on the armor Period. because yes, yes, you're going to have to get uh, yes, ma'am. Hey, it is with being on oh, it, did say, it did say that's it, name. It. I'm confused now. What do you identify to get a day? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just confused. I'm just making. Hey, I'm just. I can Pushes identify what I have been taught by the media that yes. I can identify whatever the hell I want to identify on any given day. That's true. And last week I identified as Kentonja Lovejoy, a 60 year old black woman who's soon to be kicking ass in uh, women's masters swimming events. Uh, today I'm just me. Will the dreads be added though? That's why we won't. Yes, that's what we want. Dreads, that, you know, I don't know, putting a weave on this thing. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think I. Take, take skills. <laughs> yes. You got to have skills. Uh huh. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this episode because we have certainly enjoyed this. Mason, again, thank you. Folks, go buy Mason's right. book. Go check it out. You will not be disappointed. It's okay to leave the plantation and the Democrat Party hates America and the 11 other books that he has. Go <laughs> go buy all of them. Go give them as gifts. Go, go give them like Mason says. Go send them to your liberal friends yeah. and say, tell me where I'm wrong. Yes, Read that's this and tell me where I'm wrong. Please, that please tell me. Where I'm wrong. Exactly. And Katanja, always a pleasure. Thanks. Folks, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe <laughs> to the Rumble channel. Subscri- subscribe to the YouTube channel and then go over to Rumble because we don't know how much longer YouTube is going to work out. If you're not on the Locals community yet, go join the Locals community. We'll put that back up on the screen here. It's $5 a month. Get your first month free with promo code Freedom Cow. We have to go tape the bottom of the stack episode right now. So, folks, thank you for joining us. And remember, like it says right there, keep those red pills coming because today's normie is tomorrow's friend. And are you doing all you can? Go spread the word because you're going to get those people who say, since when did you care? Well, we care every day. Yeah. Right here in the bunker. We care every yeah. day. Thank you, everybody. From the bunker, good night, everybody. <laughs>